Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on this uh, attack animations. So when I press the attack button, the character will randomly play uh, one of the attacks like this. So this is the part I am gonna work on today. And this episode is sponsored by this generous patron. Thank you very much for your support. Alright, so I have imported a couple of animations for the attacks. So let's see. Let's use this for the attack. Alright, so first uh, let's go to this asset and create animation montage like this sword and shield montage and then let's open this character all right so in this melee attack when we press the melee attack if we have equipped already equipped the weapon we can just uh, how should we do this right uh, let's define a new attack function I prefer to do it through the melee combat interface so let's call it attack right uh, now let's implement that here event attack like this so I'll just here let's add it to once node because if I keep smashing the button the attacking would keep playing without really finishing it uh, one more thing um, yeah for this actually we don't have the root motion enabled but while I do this attack I need uh, to disable other moments I should not be able to walk that means so if I enable root motion Uh, the character would not have the other type of moment so right it's playing in the default slot it's all good so now here let's play any montage here I'll use this any montage play in node because uh, I'm planning to use this uh, animation not montage notifiers to detect hits uh, when we attack another character but for now it doesn't matter so here so let me promote uh, actually no yeah let's promote this to a variable let's call it attack montage and here I'll put this one Oh, it's not playing. Let's see. Ah, after this is completed, we should reset this. Ah, but yeah, we didn't really call this attack event anywhere. So I'll call it here. Uh, uh, attack. like this uh, 
okay right and also i have imported the some sounds for example this this swoosh sound uh, this one looks suitable at uh, the one sounds i am using in the open world project so yeah let's add the sounds here All right, here along this notify track, add notify. Let's play sound. As for the sound, let's use this swoosh sound. This one. Now let's play. Okay, it feels like it's kind of delayed. So let's move it back. right let's keep this simple right uh, now in order to implement yeah we have actually couple more animations this one it's a little longer what about this okay yeah here let's increase the speed of this a little bit because i feel we are too slow like this okay now uh, let's create a uh, montage for some more animations this one is too long yeah maybe this one create any montage this is also i want to use the player rate point three and here let's play the where's the notifier track okay here play sound the same swoosh sound do we need anything else ah oh, yeah we need to enable root motion for this one too Oh, maybe why not this one also let's create any montage okay now here we have multiple shots one is here Can we just copy those? Notifies, I'm not sure. Okay. Another swoosh. 
should be here. And another one here. Oh wait. Okay. Now, instead of using uh, single animation, single variable, let's turn this into an array like this. Break. Now, yeah, let's collapse this. Attack. So let's get a random element from this a copy. So to get a random element, we need to know the length of this. Oh, can we just is there a random? No. So we, we know the length of this, we can get a random integer, okay, like this. This way we can get a random element from this montage. And as the montage, you set. Alright, let's see. Oh wait, we didn't initialize the error. Array. So then should right, let's see. Oh, sorry. We did not enable root motion for this one. And what else? Okay. All right. Um, right. So here is the final preview. So I have changed the colors a little bit to make the characters stand out clearly. Okay, oh, maybe let's add some grunt sounds as well for this. So, right, I have imported this. These sounds. These sounds, so let's use some of these sounds in uh, you know what let's create a sound cue like this create cue uh, let's call it grunt mel Front. And let's use this one, this one, this one.
under this tree so how do we paint randomly like this get a random node here and connect so now when we play this sound cue randomly one of them will be played like this so now and oh, where did I add the did we add this one here? Okay. Ah, oh, right. Notifies are here. Can we cut? Yeah. Ah, uh, no need. Let's set them here. Let's play another sound. A grunt. Oh. Another one here. Copy. Oh, we can't paste. Okay. All right. Similarly, we can copy this element. Right, <clears throat> now here is the final. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. And in the next episode, uh, let's see how to implement getting hit parts and how to uh, yeah, implement another NPC character, an enemy character so that we can do actually some fighting so right the project files will be available here in the patreon page for download with animations link would be in the description below and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club and thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye